So the iPhone 11 is right around the corner. Probably coming this September, rumored to be September 10th. But what can we expect on this year's new iPhone? Well, as far as design, as you've probably seen, the iPhone 11 will probably come with three cameras. Two that are probably just about identical as what we had this year, plus either an ultra wide or ultra telephoto camera. Personally, I'm hoping for an ultra wide, but ultra telephoto can be pretty nice too, just like how we saw on the Wow MP30 Pro. It's also rumored that the main camera may have night mode, just like on the Pixel 3, which will be great because then Google will have to take down all of their ads where they say that the Pixel 3a is better than the Phone 10 when it shows those night mode comparisons. And it would definitely help Apple compete with the soon to be Google Pixel 4. As far as ports, Apple may be switching from Lightning to USB. It would make perfect sense since the new iPads charge on USB C and the MacBooks have been charging on USB C for years now, and Apple likes to make things simple. So, wouldn't it make sense for their iPhones to charge with USB C as well? On iOS 13, the beta, when you plug your phone into the computer, it usually it shows you a picture of the Lightning port and an iTunes logo, but at least that's what it was on iOS 12. On iOS 13, 13, when you plug it in, it shows you a USB-C cable. Now, this could be just because that Apple's rumored to send a USB-C to lightning cable in the box, but it could also mean that the iPhone will charge with USB-C. I don't know, we'll have to see. If it doesn't come this year though, everyone knows it will definitely come by 2020. Furthermore, it is said that not only will there be a nicer glass on the new phone, but it's going to feel a little bit softer to touch, like the Pixel 3, and it's going to be put onto the back of the phone a little bit differently. So hopefully if you break your back glass on your phone, it won't cost $600 plus for a replacement, which would be awesome. Overall though, there aren't going to be a ton of huge design changes, since Apple is known for having a three-year cycle when it comes to that. Like they had the 6, the 6S, and the 7, and they drastically changed their design and now they have the 10, the 10s, and the 11, and then they'll drastically change it again. And that's pretty unfortunate since companies like Huawei and Oppo, although Huawei is probably done for, have shown off technologies where they have a selfie camera under the display, which means no notch. But because Apple probably won't be making any big design changes, the new iPhone 11 will still probably have the notch, which again is really, really unfortunate. I mean, think about it. Right now, the notch feels outdated. Imagine a year from now. That's going to feel so outdated. So I hope Apple can do something about it, but chances are good that the new iPhone 11 will look the same as far as displays. Hopefully though in 2020, their new iPhone with their micro LED technology that they've recently patented will demolish the displays of every other smartphone on the market and get Apple back on the top of the game. Inside the phone, the battery is reported to get a lot bigger. The iPhone 11 Max is supposed to have 4,000 milliamps, which is a milestone that Apple's never hit before in a phone. In other news, according to a recent patent, Apple seems to be making the speaker size of their phones smaller for whatever reason, but still making them louder, which is pretty nice. But then of course, there's the iPhone 11 R. As far as that, it's going to again have one less camera than what the flagships have. So this year there was two and the iPhone 11 R had one. This next year there'll be three, so the iPhone 11 R will have two probably. And those will be two cameras that are probably just about the same as what was on the 10 and the 10s. But there's also going to be a few new colors as well. One guy actually reportedly snuck the glass outside of the Apple factory, since I guess glass gets through the metal detector, and despite it being cracked, posted it all over Twitter, and so we can actually see that there are going to be two new colors, if of course this leak is legitimate, that's going to be a lime green as well as some sort of lavender purple, which I think looked pretty nice. And that's just about all we know about the iPhone 11. Obviously, Apple is cracking down on the leaks, so it's getting harder and harder for people to find these things, but we still know a good amount. And if you look at my videos last year predicting the iPhone XS, as well as my videos two years ago predicting the iPhone 10, at around this time of year, we knew just about everything. And while it doesn't feel like we know too much, I have a good feeling that the analysts are just about spot on, as usual. But if you've got any different opinions, let me know in the comment section down below, or let me know what you would like to see on the new iPhone. Maybe Apple will read the comments and listen and use your idea. It's worth a shot. So I will see you guys next time. I'm Jack. Peace out.